Hello, dear viewers. You are on the Sovelmash channel, and today we continue answering your questions. Hello, dear colleagues. Good afternoon. Question. Sovelmash will have enough orders, but will there be enough human resources? Of course there won't. Because, as they say, cut your code according to your cloth. As the orders are generated, so will the further development of the personnel capacities. But I think it would be interesting to discuss this topic a little bit from the point of view of the fact that this industry is innovative and quite complex. Consequently, the training of the new personnel is also, I believe, not quite simple and not typical. So then, what about the amount of time it takes to prepare for implementing, say, a capacity increase? Well, the issue is quite complicated, because it is necessary to train designers who understand electric machines, design technology engineers, technology engineers, and there are many technology areas, not only metal working. Plus, we need specialists who can work with computer modeling, creating models and analyzing these models and calculating on machines. This is also a certain industry. It's not so easy because even if we consider such a simple issue as the licensed Maxwell software by ANSYS, in Russia, there are only two licensees, perhaps even three, as far as I know. Oh no, three including the company itself that sells the product. Yes, there are three of them. And this will require creating jobs, and it's not a small amount of money. So, this is an interesting question. That is, as far as I understand, currently the team's backbone is being shaped. People who have the expertise and meet the requirements and meet the challenges of the project at the moment. And then it is a model of principle, because we are talking about motors, and they will need to be divided into groups, because there are motors with a height of up to 315 millimeters and up to 200 millimeters. There are specific motors and so on. Therefore, it will be necessary to establish special groups, separate groups which will handle separate areas. Therefore, it's a model system, approximately the same way ships are built. They have compartments, sections, in the same way here, in the compartments, but with a head, with a head bridge, similar to a conveyor belt of a kind. The ship has a central part from which everything goes to each service, and it all comes together and moves forward. I see. Thank you for the answer. Send your questions in the comments and we'll try to answer them. And also do not forget about our social media. The links for subscribing are in the description. See you again.